Hmm? What is that? Oh, it's part of the picture. Hey, what's up, Internet? Walmart. They sell 18650 batteries. Wow. Let me tell you about it. I went to Walmart the other day. I was going to buy garden hose stuff. And it was in the lighting area that I had to pass. And, and I was noticing, like, whoa, what is this stuff? On Those look like batteries. And I walked up to it. And they're, they're lithium cells. They're 18650 cells. I didn't, I didn't know Walmart had these, but I don't even know if Walmart knows they have them because the price is on the shelf. But like it's like $3.50, dollars like, what? No, that's wrong. So you've got some cells here. That they're $18.500s. That pack I took to the register, it was 10 bucks. The green ones, the 18650s, they were $11. And the other 18650s that are the same milliamp hours as the green ones... Uh, are 15 bucks that was priced correctly and then yeah they, they threw in some nickel mill hydride double a's just to try to be try to be the cool kid on the block ain't gonna happen you're not the cool kid nickel mill hydride and if you're like me you've maybe dealt with these batteries in the past i don't suggest soldering them i replaced it or i rehaul overhaul hmm. i overhauled a laptop battery back in the day and i started getting one of my New 18650 cells that I was putting in there to start whistling. And that scared me, and I ran away, and it stopped whistling. And then I looked, YouTubed burning uh, lithium batteries and, and learned. That was over a decade ago. Wow. But maybe, maybe you, you've done what I have done and purchased one of these uh, battery spot welders. That's what that is. Uh, yeah, that was 180 bucks on eBay. And maybe, maybe you were looking at like the 18650 cells and you're like, oh, wow, where do I get those? And so there you go, Walmart. Or I got uh, a whole bunch of the uh, laptop kinds of batteries from Amazon that I'm going to be turning into a bike battery. So yeah, they're for a Dell laptop. I got these for 11 bucks. There's nine cells in them. I can link in the description. You can press a button. You can press a button and see green dots light up. Out of focus. It's great. The current problem is I have no way to charge those batteries. And I don't have any more money to spend on a charger. So if you've been watching the channel, you might notice that I've found another battery solution by way of Ryobi used mower. Gosh, I'm going to start talking about my e-bike. And so I 3D printed these little clips. Excuse me, you can't even see that really well, but a Ryobi battery clicks into that. And then there's this guy. I 3D printed that guy. Get, get the focus on your... on the, Yeah. And so this goes over the Ryobi battery, and wires go through there. I'm going to drill out those holes. I don't know if you can see me. Yeah? And then it, it rubs, rubs up against the metal... It, the parts of the battery, the leads, and so there's that, and then I'm like, they're gonna somehow they're gonna be formed, and I'm gonna put that on the bike. I'm just dreaming, I'm just talking about my dreams, telling you about Walmart batteries. Yep. I hope that helped. See you later, internet.